got are two GM 10 bolt rear ends. Uh, they're both from F body uh, 1975. I think one's a 74, one's a 79 a Firebird and a Trans Am. Uh, one of them is an open differential, and the other one is a limited slip, a factory limited slip. So I just want to show you kind of the differences here. Uh, on this open differential, inside you've got the spider gears, and you can see that the tire spins completely independent of each other. And you can actually spin one forwards, one backwards, you can spin them together, you can spin them apart, doesn't matter. There's no resistance whatsoever keeping these tires locked in together. Now over here, for the limited slip, You've got a spring steel in the center, which forces the spider gears out where you've got a clutch pack. So in between each one of these spacers is a different clutch disc. Now these are clutch discs similar to the inside of a, a motorcycle wet clutch, so they actually ride in the oil. And what that does is the friction actually locks them together. So when you spin one, the other one spins. Now because it's a limited slip and not a locker, you can't break these free. So if you hold one, you can actually break the other. I'll show you here with the chocks. Shock the wheel up, you'll see that you can still spin. There's just resistance against it. So what I've always wondered is how much force is really required to break these free. And so what I'm going to do is build a little contraption and we'll actually measure how much force. Okay, so got my little doohickey made up. I've got the wheel chalk, so what we're going to do is uh, the nut that I welded on, I've got a socket for, and I'm going to use a torque wrench, and we're going to see just how much force it takes to break the clutch disc free. So before I do this, I should actually spin it around a few times, and then we can make sure that we get enough oil soaking over those. Looks like it's breaking free around 30 foot pounds. Alright, so it took 30 foot pounds of torque to break free on the clutch disc. Honestly, I don't know if that's a lot or a little. I, this is the first time I've ever done that. Um, I'm going to be building another vehicle next where we're going to be putting in a true off road style locker where it actually ratchets as it turns. I imagine that's going to take a lot more force. So what I'll do is I'll re-drill the doohickey to a uh, Ford bolt pattern, and we'll test that one, and I'll do an update video when I've got it. But for now, at least we know 30 foot-pounds of torque to break free of the clutch disc on an unknown mileage GM 10-bolt.